Basically, I just wanted to introduce myself and uh, say that Tom and I are publishers of the Landowner magazine. It comes out six times a year and it's, um, it's full of stories from people across the province and a few out, out west and, and down east. So the stories in the magazine are stories that are written by regular people. I have writers that regularly write you know, they do a column, then we, we cover court cases that we've been to. We cover um, Nick Vandergrat, who's on CFRA, he has a answering the call, so we do, he does a, a column every time. And we, we cover our, this is the, the different meetings that we have across the province, so this, this one will likely be in the next issue, this meeting. So basically we have, um, the magazine is, is composed of maybe 10 regular columnists. We have businesses, so if you have a business, an interesting business, give us a call, we could go out and do a story and put it in there. We have one, this one's the tale of two quarry owners in the M&R, and that's a good story because the two quarry owners had the same M&R approach them and say, oh, you can't, uh, you've got, we, we discovered um, turtles and, um, uh, I think it was snakes and turtles 10 years ago when we were building a highway. Um, so we think they're still there. And because of that, we want you to sign this contract for the endangered species. And the two quarry operators, one went to his lawyer and his lawyer read it. I've got the copy and it's about 10 or 12 pages long. And um, his lawyer said, I think you better sign the contract. And the other fellow, this was up in um, the Muskokas, he, he contacted his uh, landowner uh, buddy who went with him to meet the MNR and read over the contract. And that contract would have literally shut his business down. In the contract it said, everybody who, uh, who works in this quarry has to take a course on how to recognize the eggs uh, of the turtle and uh, the different stages that you might see. You had to write a, a report if you discovered a, a turtle or a snake on your property. If it was injured, you had to take it to the vet. It, it just went on and on and on. At the end of the summer, you had to do a big long report, all volunteer, uh, voluntary, and build a fence around so they could have their nesting season. And, and this is trying to run a quarry. So he didn't sign. They were very angry. They said, we're taking you to court. He didn't care. He said, I'm not signing. And then they went away. So he continued with his quarry. So we, f and, and plus he had his crown land patent grant too, which he held up to them. So anyway, that was one of the stories that was sort of, a, sort of a good story. So I guess that's about all. We've got another one, Lyme disease can kill. So what I would say to you is if you have an issue or a story and you would like it to be in the magazine, then you can call me or you can read at the back. It's got our phone number and our email. And that's how, how I put the magazine together. These stories come in and, and we write about them. So it's $30 a year or two years is $50. And all the information is in the magazine. So thank you very much.